Good morning, it is me, Waddle's evil twin brother. The one with no morals, the one with no ethics, the one that does not care at all. You can tell that it's me, the evil twin brother, by the belt. The belt is red with blood. Waddles would never wear that, and then the blood, it has slowly crept into the eyes. That's not Waddles at all. Look in the eyes, and then of course, uh, of course, the mustache. This is how Waddles. That's right, we've done it. Waddles has officially been replaced. So, you joined me at Waddles Deep Slate Mine. We're down here mining for the beautiful, the wonderful Grimstone. We're gonna need a lot of this in today's episode. We have a lot planned for this one, and a lot of the stuff that we have planned for this one involves this stuff right here. This sweet, sweet, wonderful stuff. I've been collecting up all of the blocks that I've been finding down here, like uh, Deep Slate, Tough, and Gravel. But more, <laughs> I need more. Anywhere in between six to nine stacks of this stuff. That should do. We're also gonna need basalt for what we're doing today. Potentially a lot. So, off to the best basalt factory in town. Basalt Brothers it is. Over the course of the past few episodes, we've been hard at work. Hard at work on this beautiful, wonderful storage building. The Grand Storage Coliseum, as it is formerly known, is now basically fully finished. Well, fully finished except for like two main things. The organization system, like moving things into the building, still definitely need to do that. But to do that, I kind of need more item frames. It is with sad heavy heart that I officially announced I'm broke. I don't have any more leather. I completely used up all of the leather for my organization here. I need leather for more item frames. That's what we need to take care of today. But, uh, there's a lot that I want to do today. That's not the only thing I'd like to get done. Another thing that I'd like to try and get done today is a path. The Swords Coliseum is wonderful, but the area around it, it's not really exactly wonderful. Now, the area around it, I can't really do too much to it until I start to actually get buildings in. I want to save room for those things, you know? But, what I can do is start to work on a path. So, the path in this area, I'm still stumped. I need path ideas. I can't figure it out. So, uh, what I figured I would do is copy whatever path I do down there. And, yeah, taking a look at it analytically, it looks like whoever set that path up seemed to just do, like, a plain path. So, I guess plain path is exactly what we're going to do for now. I mean, it's really not the best or fanciest thing in the world. Like, like really, truly, keep me humble. Like, I, it's not, it could be better, right? I kind of don't know what to do with it. See, we have this one path down there going like almost apparently like that way. And then we have this path up here going a completely different way. And then we have this weird, awkward space in the middle that I started to detail. One thing that I am thinking is maybe I just take this path for now and cut straight this way. Maybe wrap around this way past Villager Driveway over towards Tudor Building Vine Farm. And then maybe we end it there. Oh, but good old path designs, I'm still stumped. So today I formally announced Path, path Contest. R slash Waddle. Post screenshots of your submission over there. This path needs to be a couple things. Thing number one, affordable. If it's built out of like the most expensive block in the world, I'm not going to be able to pick that one. But with that being said, if I have to set up a new farm for that block, I'm fine with that. That's cool. Goal number two, this path has to at least kind of match what we have going on over here, which uh, it should be pretty easy because I uh, like basically everything is going on over here. And then finally, random shape. I like to do paths that are a little bit more natural looking instead of like straight lines. If the path has to be a straight line, it will not win. Waddlers, I will need your finest and best submissions sent over to r slash waddles, however many you'd like. Keep in mind that if you win, you will literally be helping pave this world and then the path to greatness. And that's pretty cool. Haha, <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Another tamale. Uh, trying to activate my world too. No, 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 tisk, tisk, tisk. That's my job. Get out of here cow farm or leather farm whatever you want to call it that's what i need i need something a little bit more also the stalker has been calling i don't know if it's me being the evil twin and all but i feel in tune with this thing like the emotions i get it ha 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 you freeze freeze stay away from my goats you know how i feel about them being the evil twin with no ethics, rules, or morals really works out sometimes. It frees up a lot of opportunity. So, over here, this is the build site for our brand new creation, our new build. I think this build is gonna be... It's gonna be different. It's not exactly gonna match everything that's going on in this world, but then again, does anything match in this world? We're gonna use a couple different blocks on this build. The Stalker. The Stalker is kind of the inspiration. This build, it needs to match the Stalker. We're gonna set up a new zone today. Or at least it's like kind of a, a new zone, maybe, depending on what I end up doing with it. So, uh, for this build, we're going to use smooth basalt, we're going to use this stuff right here, deep slate, and then we're going to use deep slate tiles as well. 
I think what I want to do though first uh, is the shape. The shaping on this build is very, very critical. If we don't get the shape right, then the build, well, then the whole build isn't right. Absolutely, for what we're going to do today, we're going to need to terraform. This hill is going to be a big problem. I think what I'm going to do is take a bunch of the extra grass that I have and like smooth it out. I want this thing sitting on a flat surface. So we start out something like this. So far, so good. This is the arms of what we're creating today. But not to discredit anything or anyone. Wouldn't want to be overly toxic or anything. Uh, the arms are the easiest part of the build. If you could build the arms of this build, it's not impressive at all. Next up, we need to start moving into the body. So... Crazy Cow Sphinx. Well, 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 we'll just say, if you know what I'm talking about, I respect you, fully salute you, fully support you, you know, all of those good things. The one thing with Crazy Cow Sphinx is, to be honest, it never really fully turned out exactly how I was hoping. This thing is like the leveled up, much improved, better version of Crazy Cow Sphinx. Evil news. The original version was also lacking that evil, scary factor too. So, uh, build the stalker, build the stalker. So far, so good. But legs were the easy part. Chest was the little bit less easy part. This is the real hard part. So if I can get this in and get it perfect on the first try, not only is it a miracle, but it's also gonna be like literally perfect. My life will be so much easier. I have a rough idea of what I'm trying to do here, but I'm not fully sure. Grass block represents eyes. We'll get like black concrete or something. I think eyes right there. This is like a nose bit. That's like a side bit. Is it everything I've ever wanted and more? I have literally no clue. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try from over here. Is it everything I've ever wanted and more? Kind of. It, it's close. It's, it's maybe getting there. It needs to be thickened up down there for sure. It needs a little more work up top. But I think the shape is there. I think that's it. This is going to be massive in relation to the body. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean, nighttime is probably the best time to take a look at this thing, right? <laughs> yes, yes, right, right. right. It, it definitely, definitely is. is. I am thinking, though, that I could definitely change some things about it. It looks to be, like, a little too long, like, tall-wise. Maybe I could shorten it, take out a row of blocks in there. Mm-hmm. That's basically it. There we go. That's a lot more like it. Roundness, check. Solidness, check. Sturdiness, check. Neck that is insanely thick, like maybe even too thick. <laughs> Unfortunately, check. So, with the front of the build, like mostly figured out, what I think I need to do from this point on is start to mix in the other blocks. And now that I have the shape, like pretty much done, and I'm happy with it, the rest of the build is, is pretty easy. Not that the back of the build doesn't matter or anything, because it does, but at the same time, let's be honest. If there's one spot that I will never build things inside of this world, it's most likely that spot right there. And oh, check this out. You know your build is looking a top tier. Absolutely great. If the pillagers are even stopping in amazement to looking at the build. <laughs> Not me. They're looking at the build. I think they love it. You know, last episode it was all about like tree farm when and you know stuff like that. This episode is all about bamboo farm when. Just set the thing up, it's pretty cool. End up with tons and tons of bamboo, and then maybe, just maybe, with like a tiny bit of that bamboo, make some scaffolding. <laughs> I could really use some scaffolding. Well, anyways, sweet dreams, villagers. Slip tight. Add a couple of staircases right on the front of the build. A couple more blocks over here on the side of this thing. Maybe some walls on the back of the build to make it a little bit more interesting looking back here. Spruce trap doors on the front. It's the only way. Lantern for light. Teeth for scary. Black concrete for depth. Black concrete for eyes. Red glass on the back. Take a step back. And after all that, this is that. <laughs> the Sphinx. The Sphinx turned out like pretty much perfectly. This is exactly what I was trying to do. Like, I mean, look at this thing. It's absolutely out of this world. This is a demon. This is great. It's wonderful. It matches the stalker, like, pretty much perfectly right there. It's sturdy. I think I got the portions right on the statue. And even better, it has an inside. So this build, it's not just a sphinx. It has a use. Remember when we were talking about needing leather, like, earlier on, near the beginning of this video? Well, yeah, I still need leather. 
the theme of this build and this whole area over here that we're setting up is dark so first things first we need a floor the floor i'm thinking is something pretty simple black wool we have tons and tons of black wool like i have way too much of this stuff this is the perfect use for it there's no fire inside of this build so no problems will ever happen and it'll keep the build like really really dark and evil feeling inside like close the door imagine black wool all over the floor yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be exactly it i didn't even realize though this ground bit uh yeah i'm gonna have to swap that out too also i fully filled in the ground like, check this thing out. From the side, the Sphinx is looking something like this, and then the ground that it's sitting on? Yeah, fully finished. The hill looks good, and I think the side profile is great, too. Back inside of this build with the wool floor fully finished, you see what I mean? Like, this is really, really evil feeling. Couple tables right there, the red glass right there, banners right there to go over to the back rooms, of course. This is pretty cool looking. Now, uh, the point of this build, there is one more thing that we need to get in on this build. Um, what is this thing? Well, you see... You don't have to worry about it. I, I'll build it. You don't worry. This isn't what it looks like. You've got it wrong. Or maybe it is. I'm not sure. With the inside of the Sphinx just about finished, I think it's time to move on. The area around the Sphinx and the Stalker, right now, is pretty plain and basic looking. I don't like it. In my opinion, these builds are pretty sweet looking, but I definitely think the area around it is kind of killing the vibe. Like, these are really creepy looking builds, and then you just have a couple bushes, some cobblestone that I put down, like... <laughs> It's laughable. What? Uh, we need to fix that. First things first, I have a ton of extra coarse dirt from originally inside of the Colosseum. I'm thinking the first big move we can make in this area to suck the life out of it completely is coarse dirt. I need to see less grass and more dirt. For now, I think what we do is we take this area pretty much over to like this hill. I didn't need to go too crazy. Right now, we just have the two builds. Maybe eventually we'll have more. Coarse dirt. It's not much right now, but it's already definitely helping this area out. Next up, sand. Now, admittedly, I do feel a little bit more nervous about this one. I'm not fully certain if this is going to fit in, but I think it'll work. We can do small patches of sand in here, and then every once in a while, I plant a cactus on the sand too. So like, small patch over there, cactus right there, small patch here, cactus there. I think the sand is going to help, again, drain the life out of this area. And then the cactus, of course. I mean, name one other plant in the game that hurts you. It's impossible. You can't do it. Less grass, more dirt, and a little bit of sand. So next up, the dead tree that I set up in here. I actually had to take part of the dead tree out because it was too close to the Sphinx, and it's still too close to the Sphinx. Also, I think the spruce stone is really alive and full of life looking. That's not good. Look, uh, don't get confused. I'm not saying that I like acacia wood. Like, I don't really like acacia wood. But at the same time, this stuff is gray and literally lifeless looking. I think we can make better dead trees out of acacia logs. To make this next one possible, I've grabbed some acacia saplings from the storage ship, a little bit of bone meal from the subpar bone meal machine. We're going to grow the trees, and I'm going to build the logs. And by the way, the whole time I'm working on this thing, I'll be collecting leather too. I definitely don't need to go too crazy with the dead trees. I'm thinking maybe like five or six dead trees in here total, but a couple gray dead trees are definitely going to fit the zone a whole lot more and make it feel more creepy. Tough. I got a lot of tough while I was down in the mines. So tough. I need more rocks inside of this thing. So tough and cobblestone, the combination is absolutely immaculate. It's perfect for rocks. I get a couple more big boulders in this area. Makes it feel even more gray, even more creepy. Now, for the limit of this area, I'm thinking this hill. This hill is kind of perfect right now. If we add things to it, we'll have to push it out and, you know, like expand. But uh, I'll set up some kind of border on this thing, like right there, kind of following the hill. Going over to the big hill over there, and then maybe just wrapping around a little bit. Now that I think about it, I could probably set up a really cool looking border that gives off the whole keep out vibe with a simple combination. Deep slate and iron bars. So yeah, that's the big plan. I've got a little bit more work to do. If I can get all of these things in, not only will the Sphinx fit into this world a whole lot more, but the Stalker will too, and this whole zone will kind of start to make a little bit more sense. <laughs> if that's even possible. I'm not sure that it is. Well, I've done it. Just like Kim K says, I got up. I did the work, put in the hours, and here we are. The distortion, the brand new zone inside of our world, it's finished. And would you take a look at that right now? Fully complete with the agonizing one, too. 
Ah, it feels good. It feels so good. The Sphinx definitely fits in a whole lot more now to try and blend the zone in and make it match the world because it's like so different, you know? I decided to just do basically like a pile of rocks outside of this. I think it'll start to fit in more once I get more builds in. <laughs> Hopefully, if a gigantic demonic Sphinx can even fit in. I don't know. But to check it out, let's do a little tour. The logs on the ground, they're now dried, dead, and dried out looking. Then we have the dead trees all over the place, too. Oh, they're creepy. They add to the atmosphere. I was thinking maybe some cobwebs in here, too. But, uh, splot, splot twist. Yes, I am kind of broke on cobwebs. Well, anyways, back to the tour. Over here, we have the Sphinx with absolutely nothing illegal inside of the Sphinx. I don't know why you would think that. And then over here, we have more rocks on the hill, more coarse dirt, more logs, a couple cactus. It's good. It's finished for now. I, the evil twin, is very happy, is static even, to see this area expand as we come back to it and start to add more builds. But for today, that's it. Next up, back to the path talk. But this time, instead of in front of the Coliseum, it's over here. So we have this build over there with the path, and now we have this build over here with the path. I'm thinking very soon we link these builds up with the path, but the problem is it's still so empty over there. I'm highly considering building something that is maybe directly linked to the sheep farm inside of the build, like right there. No, it's not an auto sorter. No, 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 no. Of course not. I just do the wool build. So that's completely what I'm thinking with the builds over here and then trying to connect the potato field to the rest of the base. We'll do it one day. Next stop, next stop, a little bit of organization. Now that I actually have more leather for item frames that I can put in this build, I can start to organize it a little bit more. In between episodes, I did continue to organize it a little bit. I'm thinking like deep slate and then other types of stones right here. Then uh, over here, I have the wood and we'll save a spot for like mangrove wood in there somewhere. Then over here, I have like the dirt blocks, still thinking sand and gravel right there. I don't know. <laughs> I talked about it in the last episode. Like maybe it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but... For, for some reason, inside of my mind, maybe maybe there's something wrong with me, but for some reason, inside of my mind, organizing a storage room, oh, that's good stuff. So we won't do it for too long in today's episode. I don't want to bore you, but I thought we'd make a little bit more progress today. So I'm kind of torn. A little bit of advice could be like amazing right now. Uh, of course, I have all of these chests, 662 chests in this building total. Should I be doing things like this, like iron bars with the iron stuff? Or at this point, do I just <laughs> make one of these chests for iron bars? Even though I know that I will never fill a double chest up of iron bars, not even a single one. I hope. In terms of the wood, I think it's pretty straightforward. What I'll do is I'll put all of the oak things inside of one chest. I will definitely never fill up a full chest of this wood because I'm constantly using it. And then for things that don't fit into a single type, I have this random chest right here. So things like sticks and chests and other things, I'll throw them in there. I'll come up with other spots for those. Hey, by the way, if you have any ideas for storage organization, drop them down in the comments. I'm always looking. The only way we can make more progress in the storage wheel, though, is by coming back up to the ship and grabbing even more materials. So, my organization inside of this room was always chaotic, like it's all over the place, but, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things here, like, looking at individual chests, I shockingly, like, don't actually have that much here. Well, anyways, organize, organize. First things first, andesite. I actually don't have very much andesite inside of this world, but andesite definitely goes with the stone. Second thing second, we need granite. Granite definitely fits in with all these stones categories it makes sense third things third uh, i mean i mean i guess deep slate or dripstone yeah yeah dripstone dripstone kind of goes with the stuff i mean it's a little bit different but i mean it works jumping over here front and center i think i've got it moss blocks for now we'll put moss blocks inside of that thing i might end up with more of those later if i start mining with them and then up top rooted dirt rooted dirt goes in between the pods all in mycelium and it's all this dirt stuff i feel like it perfectly makes sense gravel snow ice clay brick and finally over here for now we'll put sand inside of this one and then over here sandstone i feel like that makes sense maybe leaves could go here and then down here we could put saplings like every type you know what now that i think about it we're gonna need more room for the leaves <laughs> i have a lot of leaves or sometimes i do so we'll put leaves up there instead and then finally for today, let's go ahead and put terracotta right here next to like the sand, the gravel, clay, all that stuff. And then right below there, we'll do all of the concrete that I have too. Okay, for today, <laughs> that's enough. So with a little bit of storage room organization, a little bit of path building and path talk, and the addition of a brand new dimensional demon to our world with absolutely nothing inside of it, I think that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. The final thing you have to do, if you haven't yet, is smash like. It will make your life feel fulfilled. I want to send a big thank you to Patron Gang, Archangel, Ground Crazy May, Lord Zenera, and Hush Sound of 34. Thank you all so much for the support. It's been your boy. Go have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.